Hey everybody, welcome back to Dr. E's YouTube channel. And today I brought you someplace really neat in Utah. We're out at a place called Coyote Basin, and we came here today to do some reintroduction work with the endangered black-footed ferret. The black-footed ferret is the most endangered mammal in North America, and today we've come out here to release about 24 ferrets back into the wild. These ferrets were raised up in Fort Collins, Colorado, at the ferret uh, breeding facility that's run by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Uh, because they're an endangered species, all the management, the primary responsibility, is with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. So the ferrets were brought here today in pet containers, and they were trucked down here to Coyote Basin, and we're going to take them out, and we're going to reintroduce them into some prairie dog areas. The primary prey uh, for the black-footed ferret here in Utah is the white-tailed prairie dog. And my students and I have been working on white-tailed prairie dog habitat for about the last 15 years uh, here in Coyote Basin. Uh, it's important to know the prey base before we put ferrets out there so that they can be successfully reintroduced. Today I've also brought a couple of my students with me. I have uh, Daniel Barlow and Lisa Boyd with me today. And what we're going to do now is we're going to walk out across the desert to some of these pre-selected plots, carrying the ferrets along with us. Um, and you can tell the ferrets are excited to, to get out of these cages as we're walking along. Uh, when we get out there to the uh, pre-selected plots, what we're going to do, we put down the cage and we put on welding gloves to do this because ferrets can bite. And uh, we put the cage down. Inside this cage is a black piece of tubing. And it, what this tubing does is it gives the ferrets some place to hide inside the cage that makes them feel secure. Well, when they feel secure like that, they don't want to come out. So sometimes it's a little bit difficult once we take the tube out and we start to point it down into the hole, uh, the prairie dog burrow, the ferrets don't want to come out of there. And sometimes they feel so secure in there, we have to be um, a little bit more um, convincing to help get them out of there. Uh, because these are wild animals, you never know what they're going to do. Uh, occasionally we'll get a ferret, instead of going down into the burrow, that what the ferret will do is it'll go down into the burrow for a second and then it'll come running out. Uh, really good, good chance, good opportunity there to see these ferrets as they run around amongst all the onlookers. Uh, it's really nice for these ferret releases. We're able to bring people out here, the general public, to see the releases. We, we have a lot of kids that like to come along out here. Uh, parents like to bring them out here. It's really a good opportunity uh, for the folks who pay the bills for these kinds of reintroductions to see where their tax dollars go. Well, once we release the ferret down in the hole, what we'll do then is we'll back up and try to give the ferret some room uh, to feel acclimated in there. We'll also uh, put a piece of food down in there. Now the food that they're getting today is pieces of black-tailed prairie dogs uh, from up around the Fort Collins area. What this will do is just give them a little bit of food and let them know that there is food in there. Um, the next thing we'll do after we've released the ferrets is we do some monitoring work. We do different kinds of monitoring work. Uh, in the past, we've had little radio collars on the ferrets, and we'll come out here and use ra radio telemetry to track them. We'll also do nighttime spotlight counts of ferrets. And the reason we do them at night is because black-footed ferrets are uh, nocturnal, and uh, that'll allow us to go out there and be able to uh, count the ferrets. Uh, I'm gonna give you one little tip here one little in interesting tidbit to take along uh, for this uh, YouTube presentation, and that is the thing that is the major prey I item out here for black-footed ferrets is the white-tailed prairie dog, and it's interesting to note that most prairie dogs are almost twice the weight of a black-footed ferret. So it's probably a pretty good tussle down there um, when the, uh, the ferret finds a prairie dog to prey upon. Okay, now, if you're interested in this kind of work, if this is the kind of thing that you would love to come out here and do, and these are the kind of things that my students do, you know, you, see, you saw uh, Dan Barlow and Lisa Boyd out here today doing this kind of work. If this is the stuff you're interested in, at, right at the end here, I'll have my, uh, uh, my phone number, my cellular phone number, and also my email address, and uh, give, me some, uh, give me a call, shoot me an email over at uh, Utah State University at the Uinta Basin campus. Uh, I run the wildlife program there for our students, take advantage of our great instructors at the Uinta Basin, our great instructors from the main campus up in Logan, Utah, and uh, get in touch with me and we'll get you, get you all uh, um, set up to, to join our program. Thanks for joining me again. We'll see you again soon. Bye.